Hello everyone, this is Usually Dead. In um, celebration for having completed that fanfiction project I've been working on for five plus years, I have taken a very quick impromptu vacation down to the southern part of Utah for Zion Canyon. Uh, right now I am driving through Springdale. I'm not driving, I'm the passenger. It'd be very foolish to do this if I were driving. Um, this is Springdale. This is the uh, tourist town that is directly south of the entrance to the park, uh, Zion National Park. Now, um, Usually I am not the type of person who likes to take pictures on vacations because I think it's really self-indulgent and annoys people. But um, I have uh, frequently gotten requests. Hey, you did do that. Show this this thing and show us the pictures. And and in my insatiable way of overcompensating for peer pressure, I'm going to take a bunch of videos and then I'm going to edit all of these clips together and put them up on YouTube later when I get back so you guys can see what I did. Yay, we're slowing down. So um, don't expect this video video here to have any kind of a timeline co uh, coherency or consistency or anything like that because these are just videos I took of the more impressive things that we saw and did over the whole time that we were uh, in, in the park during this visit. And uh, I'm just going to kind of splice it together with no real rhyme or reason, so there's no real narrative to it, just a bunch of pieces all put together. And... Um, I think that's it. Yeah, so we're going to be hitting the entrance to the park real shortly. I thought it was closer than this, but it's not that big of a deal. Also, um, bear in mind that this, this video here is by no means a comprehensive collection of the attractions that are uh, present in Zion National Park because it would be very difficult to do everything that's in the park in any one visit because it, it's most certainly an outdoorsy kind of fun, but it's it, there's a lot of stuff to do there, a lot of stuff that's... Some of it's in the pamphlets and the brochures, and some of it's not. So we're not going to get anywhere close to that. So, um, yeah, I will uh, begin showing you guys. So keep watching. Forgive my spazishness. This is the actual entrance to the park. We're at the very northern edge of Springdale here. That over there is a giant theater that nobody in their right minds would ever go to. And this is the visitor center. If you want to fill up your water, this is where we'll go. Um, and then over there is the entrance to the park by car. This is the entrance to the park by foot. And, uh, yeah, so you see some very impressive, like, mountainous formations here. It's just the, we're at the very southern edge of the park right now, so there's barely anything. Even the geography here is pretty impressive, but even this is, like, nothing compared to what you'll see inside. So I'll show you some of that. You're going to hear me sound breathless quite frequently during these videos because of all the hiking I'm going to do. But uh, stuff like this is uh, always the main attraction of coming to Zion Canyon. You got these enormous towering sandstone peaks around you. And this right here, as is shown by this little plaque, is one of the first major attractions uh, in the southernmost part of the canyon called the Court of the Patriarchs. So named because these cliffs here were named after a few religious folk who uh, came through sometime in the 1800s, I think it was. Uh, when this was unexplored by white men and named these cliffs after various uh, characters from the Bible and Mormon scripture. So this is, the, this is like when you come to Zion Canyon, this is typically the first major thing you see is these friggin' enormous things. And for, for reference sake, I don't know if you can see it, but the road is just down there kind of through those trees. The, the hike up to this platform that I'm standing on right here is like just a like 100 yards worth of switchbacks just up from the road. It's not that far, so this is the first thing. This is entirely irre irrelevant and only of trivial interest, but uh, about one third of the way up the canyon, there is a very expensive set of hotel lodging that you can purchase, even during off season. Like the cheapest rooms are a hundred dollars per night. This is the Zion Canyon Lodge. You can see all the lodging, hotel rooms, and cabins over here. And uh, yeah, this is kind of a uh, major hub for the canyon because this is where people will go to uh, buy stuff from the gift shop and refill their water bottles and eat at a bar and grill that's here. And um, but even though it's a very huge Humanesque establishment. We still are in the canyon proper. You know, you've got these enormous sandstone cliffs on either side of you, so it's a very picturesque place to to sleep.